it's me, it's Anne. I'm back. Yes, the makeup is already done. I'll talk about it another time. Well, other than to say, after when I hit the right aid, looking at something, my husband said, oh, that one would look good on you. It's the Profusion Cheers. And, yeah, it's what I'm wearing, so there you go. I'm not supposed to be buying stuff. What does he do? Point out something that would look good. What do I do? Buy it. Anyway, I'm going to try to make sure I get the pictures up either here or here or something. While I was at the Rite Aid, on the shelves right next to the Profusion products, which I dearly love at this time of year because that Cheers palette was 10 bucks at Rite Aid, okay? Okay. They're huge, they're really big celebration stuff is like 15. I don't know. Okay. But I glanced on one of my earlier trips in there, and next to them was something that looked kind of familiar. I don't own any Too Faced stuff. Okay, none. All right, all right. But I've come to recognize a lot of their logo work. And on the shelf, right next to the profusion stuff, was what looked like a Too Faced piece. And I'm going, okay, that ain't right, but I got to go get my meds and go home. Went back yesterday because I had to, it was driving me nuts, had to know. I walked in, had my phone in my hand already set up for my camera because I'm going to go, hey, guys, look, you can get two face at right eight. No. It was indeed a little four pan palette with blushes and highlighters. And on the front of it, it had the little sketch of a peach, and it's a just peachy. And I'm going, okay, fine. And I opened it up, and the pans have the little peach impression. No smell. No smell. And unlike the Too Faced stuff, which is very often in their little tins, this was a cardboard pack. Now, this little four piece with the highlights and the washers was four bucks, okay, $3.99. So I flipped this thing over and I'm going, what the hell? Because right next to it, there's a palette that's called Black Cherry. And the eyeshadow palette looked real familiar for colors. And then there was the Just Peach eyeshadow palette, which wasn't a 10, that looked real familiar for colors. And then there was the Cha-Cha Chocolate. Again, there was a little, four, little quad blush and, and highlight set and a 10 of very familiar looking eyeshadows. And I'm going, what the hoo-ha? Nothing was scented. I don't know if that could, that, that counts as 10% difference to cover the trademark kind of stuff, but I don't know. I really don't. So I flipped them over, and on the back it said Markwin, one word, M-A-R-K-W-I-N. And that was the beauty products company, and I'm going, I got to go look this stuff up. Okay, while I'm there, they also had some Physicians Formula stuff. They had some of their lipsticks, the liquid lips, on sale at 75% off. I got three. This is the one I'm currently wearing. Let me see. Coral Minerals. I kind of like it. It's, it's fairly subtle. But it looks good. I know. I don't normally do that much subtle. Here's the other two, okay? 
There's your not so subtle. Anyway, got home, plugged Win Mar Mark Win in, came up with markwinbeauty.com, went to the website. And my face fell open. I mean, we're talking about serious jaw on the chest thing. I'm not going to show you that. It's nasty. But I'm sitting there reading through all of the, the um, brands that Mark Wynn actually owns. Even though the brands appear to own themselves when you go looking to start with. You can look all these up individually and it will tell you all about the the whatever it is name brand. And it won't necessarily mention Mark Webb. And I'm still I'm looking at the list and going, what the foodle dupe? And then I went looking again, and I used a site called Justia, J-U-S-T-I-A. It's a trademark tracker. Mark Wynn Beauty has six pages. And when I'm talking about pages, I'm talking about one-inch blocks in succession of trademark names and companies and all that that are under Mark Wynn. And I'm about to fall over it yet again. Let's start with the ones that come up on their front page when you look up Mark Wynn. Wet and Wild. Lip Smackers, Black Radiance, Physician's Formula, Lorac, and the Color Workshop. Now, some of you may not be familiar with the Color Workshop unless you do a lot of shopping in the cheap seats at Walmart or in the Dollar Tree. It's kind of, they're, they're kind of stuck in between the L.A. and the L, the L.A. girl and the elf that's at Dollar Tree. Um, last Christmas season, I went in to the Walmart and bought a 90 eight piece color workshop set. This thing had eyeliners, pencils, highlighters, blushes, bronzes, and I'm talking about several colors in the palettes, and four, count them four, of the Rimmel eye palette size. Eye palettes. There was a set of grays, a set of mattes in darks, a set of mattes in pastels, and a set of neon rainbow. $15. Okay, let me explain that to you again. That huge set with all of those pieces was $15. There were six fingernail polishes. There was mascara. There were six lipsticks. There was a lot of makeup in that box. Now, they did count each one of the colors in the little palettes of the blusher and the highlight and the bronzer as individual pieces because they were different colors. But yeah, they had different 
eyeliners they had a liquid black and a liquid brown i'm wearing the liquid brown it's still good and it's almost a year old um but that particular brand is being sold by the same corporation that sells Lorac. And Lorac ain't that cheap. And I'm going, what in the world is going on with this? So I, like I said, I started looking at the trademark thing. Their first trademark is from 1936, and it's Dermetics. Now, Dermetics covers a lot of stuff. Now, it, it's more their category for the trademark. Trademark category of 030, which includes everything from laundry detergent to rat poison, to baby food, to toothpaste and herbicides, and diabetic care also includes some cosmetics. Interesting. In 1941, they created the patent for Bonnie Bell and currently hold every version of the spelling of Bonnie Bell anybody's ever seen. 1976, year I graduated high school, Lip Smackers. 1979, Wet n Wild. I knew I had started seeing Wet n Wild at the 99 cent price about then. Yes, I'm that old, shush. 1990, Black Radiance. 1996, Beauty Zone. 1998, We Are Girls. 2001, I Am a Girl. It was abandoned in 2003. 2003, Whirly Girl. 2012, To, T O, hyphen K I, hyphen O, To, K O, treats. They not only had Oh, excuse me, it was 003, not 030. I'll get it right yet. They've got the 003, which is, again, the cleansers and the bleaches and the cosmetics and all that. However, Tokyo Treats also handles the trademark for it, code 2020. In that category, include... Goods of horn, bone, ivory, whale bone, scrimshaw, which is carved whale bone, cruelty free. You know, there's not a whole lot of ways you can get whale bone. Ivory's on the endangered list or was before the endangered list got fiddled. Last but not least is a... This one came up a couple of times. Recently, the Dollar Tree has been carrying one called Beauty Benefit Hollywood. Now, this is not Benefit Cosmetics. Beauty Benny Benefit Hollywood. In a couple of places on the Justia trademarks tracker, it was wet and wet and wild beauty benefit. 
They had that up twice with two different expiration dates because it didn't stay that way. In 2018, Beauty Benefit Hollywood was registered. The line did not do well. It was renewed in 2019. However, everything is pretty much going through Dollar Tree. They're not actively pursuing that one. Now, it may not be a big deal for some people looking at that list or looking at the companies, except that it's really just subsidiaries of this one Markwin company. But it's still, they're wet and wild. The Color Workshop and La Rock? Come on now. If they can make frickin' La Rock, they can do a whole lot better with the formulas that they've gotten things like Color Workshop. Yes, it's very inexpensive, but it doesn't have to be quite so crappy. They know how to do this. Physicians Formula. Some of these companies like to tout about being cruelty free. Their parent company, I'm not so sure, even though the homepage for when you look up Markwin Beauty, the homepage says that they are dedicated to cruelty free. And it's like they've got wet and wild. Wet and wild is kind of a judgment call because they are, because they're selling in mainland China they are subject to the possibility of aftermarket animal testing if a customer in China has an issue. And I'm going, eh, that's kind of sketchy for me. The problem is, the main problem with it is they didn't tell us that this was going on. We found it out after they kept it on the down low. And it's like, and we had to find it out by digging. But they're selling lip smackers, black radiance, physician's formula. Now, physician's formula is another one that people go, oh, it's so wonderful, and da 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 da. And it's the same company. The same parent company as all these others. Who really is in a cruelty free zone? Really? Okay, maybe they don't directly test the products on animals while they're developing them. Could be. Um, can we say for sure? I don't know. I don't know if their parent company takes care of any of that or if it's all within their little arm of the corporation. I'm not sure though I would want a company not telling us up front. The other thing that is bugging me about this Marquin Corporation, because I went to look to see if maybe, you know, I started finding this stuff. I went looking, which is how I got onto the trademark site, to see if maybe, maybe this Marquin Corporation also was the parent company for Too Faced. Didn't find it. 
But I was going, okay, maybe that's where they got the idea to do this uh, just peachy thing. Do some research. See where your cosmetics really come from. See how much they're actually charging you based on which name and which branch of the corporation the stuff comes from. Lorac's a little pricey. Color Workshop, not so much. Anybody who wants to know where I found all of this, I'm going to leave information down in the uh, description box. I don't know why I'm waving over here. I just am. But this one, it was, it was just fascinating. Finding all of this. Some of these companies did not, you know, the trademarks didn't fly. They didn't get used. Some of them. The We Are Girls. Lasted a little while. They renewed it once. I couldn't find anywhere where it said that, you know, they actually did anything with it. The I Am A Girl from 2001, abandoned in 2003. They didn't end up actually doing anything with it. Tokyo Treats is still listed as a running company. It's kind of interesting to see all of these interlocking pieces. Who's really running it? <laughs> How many actual parent corporations are the beauty products arms of? Any idea? I don't know that I'm going to do like a big research project on this. This is, it's, it's not my thing. I may send the stuff that I've already got to Jen Loves Reviews or something and see if maybe she wants to pick it up or if one of her researchers does. But have a look around. Check on the companies on, on the back of your makeup. Might surprise you who they're actually all together with. I was going, hey, I'm not buying this Mark Wynn stuff. It's a ripoff. It's a ripoff on Too Faced. I don't mind buying something that's a close enough dupe that I can get a similar look put together. But I don't like direct ripoffs. That's just rude. On top of just being wrong. So I like left all of that stuff right there. The peachy and the cherry and the chocolate. I just left it right there. But I grabbed up the Physician's Formula Liquid Lipsticks. So Mark Wynn still got my money. I think that's kind of unfair. But that's just my opinion. Just remember, this is all an opinion. Everybody's got an opinion. Everybody thinks their opinion don't stink just like their backside don't stink. If you think my opinion is interesting and want to look into it yourself, have a party. If you think my opinion is rubbish, feel free to click out. 
If you think I should mind my own business, too bad. But tell me politely what you think about doing research like this. Should you really learn more about the companies you're putting money in to be able to do your makeup? Now, I can only afford to be so picky. I can really only afford to be so picky. I don't have the kind of money that it takes to go for some really big ultra natural da 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 got all the certificates in line. Not only do they got the PETA thing, they've got the but the leaping bunny and all this other stuff. I don't have that kind of money. I prefer indie brands, but those are a little bit out of my reach some days too. But I do want to know who I'm giving my money to. I'm just picking that way. Anyway, go forth. Enjoy your holidays if you're having any. Anybody who's not having a holiday, go out and have a, you know, have a meal out, out of the house for a little while. Be good.